Good afternoon. Since this is my first time using my new Pampered Chef Air Fryer, I thought I'd share one of my favorite recipes with you, and that is a Cajun Jalapeno Burger. In order to cook this burger, you're going to need four things. You're going to need between a quarter and a half a pound of ground meat, and we have that right here. This came right from a large ranch. Excellent beef. Um, you're going to need jalapenos, and you are going to need, and I can show you how to make our own Cajun seasoning later, but today we're just going to use this beautiful Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning because they do such a wonderful, wonderful job of making Cajun seasoning. First, you're going to take the ground meat. You're going to kind of knead it out, flatten it, and kind of spread them out here. And once we've got the satisfactory amount of jalapenos, we're going to knead those into the ground meat. Now, I'm somebody that likes a lot of spice. If you're like me, you're going to put a lot of jalapenos in it. If you're not like me, you're going to put very few in it. But you want that flavor, too, from the jalapenos. It's not just about the heat. Next, we're going to get those all bound up in it real good. See there, look at that. Just, you know, kind of like that. And then we're going to put Cajun seasoning on the ground meat. Just a, a coating here. Good coating. Get that on real good. See, kind of like that. Going to season that one more time like this. Now we're going to season it up on both sides, just lightly. Like that. Flip it again. Also, if you're like me and you like a, um, a bar of uh, smoky flavor, you're going to take some of this wonderful Wright's liquid smoke and pour just a little bit over that. Now, you don't want much because a little bit of liquid smoke goes a long, long way. And now that being done, it's ready to go in the air fryer. Now, when we do the, the um, Pampered Chef air fryer, we're going to put it on the rack. Notice we have the drip tray underneath, and up top we have our, our heat shield, our heat element shield in. Now, you want to have that in because it protects the heat element. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this burger and put it on the tray. And then we're going to set the air fryer. We want it to be at 375 degrees and we're going to cook it, the instructions say about four minutes on one side. So let's get this thing started. And after four minutes, we're going to come back here and be sure to use a spatula because this baby is hot. And we're just going to kind of take her and flip her over on the other side. This may need more than eight minutes. And then we're going to close the, the, the oven, put it on custom, set it to four minutes. And again, 375 degrees. Now, as you can see, it is not quite done yet. So I'm going to flip it again. And we're going to go for another four minutes. And now for the final step and what we're going to do, we're going to take this wonderful succulent yellow piece of cheese and we're going to set it on top of the um, hamburger and we're going to take our air fryer okay go to custom I want to take this down to just one minute and we're going to leave it at 350 and now for the final two ingredients for this good burger um, I'm going to put it on bread because I'm a very simple person and I don't have to have buns, although buns are good too. And I love Famous Dave's barbecue sauce, so some of that's gonna go on it. Looks great. Hmm, mm, man, medicine eating right there. Have a great day.